Hi friends, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me tonight, Thursday, June the 30th. It is the last day of June and uh, I have a very special guest coming on to chat with you tonight. So I hope that you will help me make Michelle from Erie River Publishing feel welcome. We are going to talk to her about publishing. We're going to talk to her about some books that she's written and uh, just kind of see um, what she's up to. And she is going to be having an event, which we will talk about in um, a few minutes. And I'm just going to invite her on screen um, so that she can chat with us. I'm super excited to talk about her event that's upcoming in Freelton. That's on July the 10th. So she will give us more information about that. And we're going to talk about um, Hamilton Book Club. She participates in that. We participate in that as well. How did she get involved? All of those kind of things. So let me just see if I can invite her here. Let's see. There we go. And she's been invited. So we will see what happens in a minute. There she is. All right. I think what you have to do, Michelle, hi, is just um, request to join. So, and then I'll get a little notification and then I'll be able to see you and bring you on screen. Okay. So... I think that what you have to do is request to join. I just sent you an invite to join us. So check and see if you can click on that. Technology is always fun, isn't it? <laughs> when it works, it's great, but when it doesn't. All right, so we'll get started in just a few minutes. I hope everyone is doing well. And um, tomorrow is July the 1st, so we will be closed. Let me just see here. Let's invite them again. Erie River Publishing. Hopefully we can make this work. That's okay. Take your time. I will just continue rambling. <laughs> so this weekend we have um, Tanya Cartmel at Indigo and Ancaster from 11 till 5 on Saturday, July the 2nd. And then on July the 3rd, which is a Sunday, we are going to have MJ Panessa with his book, Fish Meets Donkey, um, in Ancaster um, from 11 to 2, I think he will be there. So that will be really exciting to go and see him and to go and see Tanya. And then the following weekend, we have Tamara Botting on the Saturday, July the 9th. And then um, Larry Pickett on the 10th of July. And he's going to have his book there that is called The Youngest, Youngest Champion. And it deals with childhood illness and the bravery that comes along with fighting that. So let me just see here. It keeps saying that you are unable to join. Okay. I just sent you another invite. We'll see if that works. Um, I think I may have sent you a link too to go and try that to see if you can join that way. Um, We'll just keep chatting <laughs> because we are going to be closed tomorrow, but um, we are going to be working on projects, of course, and doing all the things that we usually do, but uh, our office will be closed, um, our laptops, I should say, because I want everyone to enjoy their weekend. So I think here she is. There we go. Hi. Let's see. I'm saying accept. And okay. I accepted. So what I'm going to do is let's try. Oh, there you are. Oh, Hi. <laughs> okay. The issue was it doesn't like, um, laptops it only likes my phone <laughs> hey. so I was like oh, why isn't it working I was like maybe I'll try my phone and there it is oh okay, rats well we're glad you're here how are you I'm good how are you 
I know I've caught you at such a busy time. <laughs> I feel like it's just because my life is a busy time. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, thanks for joining us and taking time out of your day to be here and chat with us about everything that is Erie, Pub Erie River Publishing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, what inspired you to start writing and why dark fiction specifically? Um, well, inspired me to writing. I feel like I always wrote. Um, I wrote when I was younger. I wrote in high school. Um, when I had full time jobs, I always tried to write. Um, I never actually finished anything, but like there's three manuscripts sitting. I'll stop at like chapter three or four. Um, but like things like that um, growing up. And dark fiction is just, it's kind of what. I was drawn to like I would start um, like a fantasy and all of a sudden everyone would be murdered um, or I'd start a romance and then there would be like this sick twist to it so I was like okay maybe and um, everyone was murdered <laughs> yeah and then everyone gets murdered so... yes. <laughs> listen that's okay those books are great because they allow us to explore different themes. And I feel like it's one of those escapes where you can just think, hey, my life isn't this bad. <laughs> Could be worse, right? Yeah. It's very cathartic, too, murdering people that you hate. I mean, no, not in real life, <laughs> but on paper. Yes. On or like, paper. definitely. So Hi, David. What One are of my authors is uh, just said hi. So awesome! Hi, thanks for yeah. joining. Um, so name some of your books that you have out, and where we can find and purchase those. Um, okay, well, if you are into dark fantasy, I'm going to do a shout out for David since he's right here. Um, In Solitude's Shadow um, is book one of his Empire of Ruin series. And book two is coming out in like two weeks ish. <laughs> um, 15th or 16th. Um, and that is Path of War. And it's going to be a four book series. And that's a dark, uh, a dark fantasy set. Um, you can paperbacks and hardcovers can be bought anywhere. Um, so can the ebook. Ebook is available on like Apple and all those other fun places. But Path of War is going to be exclusive to Amazon for at least the first ninety days. We're going to do okay. uh, Kindle Unlimited on that one for nice. For a bit. Yeah, and uh, if you like horror, which I do, um, uh, Infested is our first all Canadian book that it just came out. It's by CM Forrest, who's um, in Windsor. And uh, his book just came out um, June 1st. And uh, you can get that pretty much anywhere as well. But uh, exclusively uh, ebook on right. Amazon. Yeah, uh, and then we have like a series, It Calls From. We have It Calls From the Forest, The Sea, The Sky. Yeah. And It Calls From the Veil. And again, these are all, these ones are all anthologies. So like small stories. Um, it Calls From the Veil is coming out next week. Um, so you guys have books coming out. As publishers, this is like our season of getting the books out before September, all that kind of thing. I know we have like 10 coming out the rest of this year, and I'm like, it's July. I don't know where the time went, right? I have no idea how we hit July already. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Exactly. I don't even remember getting a house, and here I am living in it. <laughs> Like, it's been like, bam, bam, bam. I don't understand. Like, this year feels like it's been 10 years, but also a week and a half. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I agree 100%. So is there any advice that you can give aspiring authors? Um, my biggest advice was write what you're passionate about and just go for it. Write, write, write. A lot of people say you have to write every day, but I'm one of those people where... I hate forcing things. So um, if I feel it, I would I would want people to write when they're feeling it and feeling inspired. It's just more of making yourself um, make it a priority mm -hmm. and just Definitely. never give up. Um, like the amount of rejections that people get um, for short stories, for novels, for memoirs, for poetry. Um, just remember, like, just the first time you get a rejection, like, you are officially an author. 
Yes. <laughs> and then when you have enough of them to publish to wallpaper the side of your house, you become a publisher. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's when you're like, forget it. Yeah. Um, so do you find it hard to balance being a publisher and an author? This is a question that I get a lot myself. So I was just wondering what a different publisher's take on this would be. Uh, absolutely. Especially with Erie River right now. Man. It feels like for me, I'm one of those people, whenever I have a calm moment, I'm like, oh, I can finally start writing for myself. I start another project. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, the first two years with Erie River, because we did, we started in 2020. Um, hi, Christian. He just joined you. He's another, he's the infested author. Um, <laughs> I just shouted you out. Um, I can watch this though. We're going to post it after. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, the first two years of Erie River, just kind of building it and getting the momentum. And I was taking on a lot of, a lot of the work myself. I still take on a majority of it. Um, but I now have like a group of readers that help with um, anthologies and things like that. Um, I found it really hard balancing even being able to write a sentence outside of like publishing work. <laughs> And now I do find I, I am finally slowing, like I'm giving away, not giving away, but I'm, yeah, I guess giving away. I'm giving away some of the responsibilities to other people and letting people take things on because I'm yeah. not to. But then of course I started another, another business. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Amazing. Well, not, right. Listen, if yeah. you're done, find the busiest person you know, and it will get done. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but it's a still, it's like publishing related because it's like I'm starting Book Box Canada, which does quarterly subscription boxes for books and small Canadian um, makers and things like that. So I, it's along the same lines. Awesome. Yes. Books. We're here. Pandemonium Publishing <laughs> for a shop. Let I know. know. We got tons of books of all different genres too. Lots of kids' books. Right now, it's specifically dark fiction, but we are going to be looking potentially in a year, because I don't want to go crazy, um, at um, a kid's book option and a YA option. So it is something I was going to hit you up for eventually. Um, okay. <laughs> so um, are you accepting submissions right now? And if yes, where can we find any author guidelines? Okay. Um, we do. Yes. <laughs> um, so for full novels or novellas, we are opening up submissions soon. Um, I think we were supposed to be opening them up in the next couple of weeks, but I did not realize how hard it was moving with two small children because the last time I moved, I didn't have them. Um, so I'm actually going to be delaying that for a couple of weeks or a month. So that will, for novels and novellas, that will be happening in August. Um, and I have all of my guidelines up of what we're looking for on, um, the website, eerieriverpublishing.com under publishing. Okay. Like a little publishing and tab. Um, but we are also doing, um, like quarterly, we have quarterly sh uh, short story anthology that we're doing. Um, this year we're focusing on um, like horror and elemental horror. So I believe we have um, sea or sky coming up next. We just closed fire and for a couple more weeks. Oh wait, no, only until tomorrow. We, we had a folk horror um, one coming up. Plus we have um, I think two more anthology calls this year as well. We have a cosmic horror and we have calls from beneath, which is going to be anything subterranean or below, like underneath a bed, below a staircase, that kind of stuff. Awesome. That sounds very exciting. I love horror. Um, I used to be so afraid to read it, but um, now I don't know what it is. It's just one of those genres that I can't seem to get enough of. And I don't know why, which is... Hard to explain for most people, I think, like, why are you reading what you're reading type of question, right? There's yeah, I feel like some of it is escapism. Um, yeah. But also, what other genre do you get to feel that terror and that endorphin rush and everything else, but yeah. also you're completely safe? 
Yeah, exactly. That's a like, really- it's that hit of like fear, but also knowing that you're in the comfort of your own home for me anyways. I'm obsessed with her, my thriller novel. I had to write it during the day. Yeah. I was had horror movies on. I had like spooky soundtracks. I had all of these like serial killer documentaries going in the background. And it got to a point where I couldn't write at night <laughs> by myself. Yeah. No, I feel you. I feel you. How often are you writing? Oh, God. <laughs> You're like, no, that was a long time ago. Like the last thing I wrote um, for an adult book was forever ago. But um, I don't have time. I have so right. many projects. That it's just like impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that right now I need to focus on my authors and, and I'll see if I can come up with something. We'll see next year. And yeah. you, got to have pro you have to have your own priorities. And sometimes our priorities are other people. And that's the thing. And if there were, you know, 45 hours in a day, then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd start another business and write a book. <laughs> Absolutely. So you go to Hamilton Book Crawl um, regularly. Yep. Tell us a little bit about what you like most about that and how you originally got involved. Um, I've only been a couple of times um, just because... I don't think it started that long ago. Um, Kate, which is the one that was um, kind of putting it together. She's amazing. And she's the person that really got me kind of hooked on it. Um, I'm going to try to go a little bit more during the summer, but again, like summer's crazy. So it's probably fall is probably when I'll be there most often. Um, but it's just a great Hamilton is so amazing for the arts. It is. Like they're so welcoming they're They have all of these um, street fairs on all the time and concession street has really opened um, like their arms to the author community. So they put them on every third Saturday. I think it's from 10 till you know, to one, right? Yeah. And uh, it's just great. People walk by and they check it out. And the best thing about it is just getting to know some of the new, like not new, but some of the other authors that are local. Because sometimes it's hard to find people that you can connect with on that kind of level. That's how we met. Right? <laughs> I know. Yeah. We snuggled up our booth next door. <laughs> it, was... <laughs> it was so cold that day, too. Yeah. And you guys had like inclement weather every single time that you went. And then um, the last few have been really nice and beautiful and the weather's been great. And we've just missed like that hurricane day. So that we we're packing up that one day. So I was like, well, I think this is par for the course. They said this usually happens. So, yeah. Um, but you're having your own author event. So can you give yeah. us about that, when it is, some of the features, that sort of stuff? Well, I... Um, really wanted to put together because there's always these children book fairs. And it's not that I don't love a children book fair. I have children. They're amazing. Um, but I really wanted something where we could promote and kind of highlight um, adult fiction authors as well. Um, so I, it's going to be hosted at West Avenue Cider House. And it's, um, which is perfect because who doesn't want a cider? Yeah. Well, they're selling or reading their books. Um <laughs> So that's going to happen July the 10th. Um, it's a beautiful area. We've got lots of picnicky spots. We're going to have, I think we have up to 30 authors going. Amazing. Um, and that does include us. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're, yeah. So thir there's at least 30 tables of authors or publishers. I think there's three of us uh, at, of the publisher tables. Um, but all the other ones are um, local authors. I even have one author coming from uh, Quebec. Yeah, my author, um, CM Forrest, uh, he's coming down from Windsor. It's just going to be a great, there's going to, we have so many genres. Um, it's just going to be amazing to see everybody and be like, hey, look, we all write books. So cool. So cool. I'm so excited for that event. You can find that on our website, panbonypublishing.com. Go to our <laughs> upcoming events and you'll see it there. So yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Well, and thanks for having me.
Yeah. Good luck with your move and everything that's going on. And <laughs> you on the 10th. Yeah. I can't wait to see you. It's going to be, it's going to be so much fun. Um, thanks so much. Yep. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.